Hey everybody. I'm smiling because I finally got my package, man. I got it from China. It took about 30 days to get here. Yep, three zero, one month. But it has been well worth the wait. Inside this package is one of the, one of the latest and greatest when it comes to portable gaming. Uh, and when I say portable gaming, I'm talking about you know emulated games, um, Android games, uh, you name it. So enough chit chat. Let's take it out of this packaging and let me give you my initial thoughts on the GPD XD portable game console. All the way from China. It took 30 days to get here. Well worth the wait. Now, where's my knife? And it's nicely wrapped, well wrapped, well protected. Look at that, look. Nicely done. You could tell they put some love in actually packaging this up. Now here's my trusty knife. I use this for pretty much everything. Look, it even has a built-in torch light. Look at that. Okay. Let's be very careful not to scratch the contents and just cut away the tape here. I love getting packages, man. It always feels like Christmas, see? Eh? All right. Look at this. There's a, a laughing child or a laughing baby on the cover. And there's no writing. On the side here we have the words GPD and it even tells you here the model so that RK3288 that's the chipset there's a 64 there which means a 64 gigabytes built-in memory and a 4 and a 4 and a 128 so I'm guessing that means 4 gigabytes of onboard RAM and maybe a capacity of 128 gigabytes when you have a card inserted but I'm just guessing here but that is what I kind of ordered, so that's how come I knew what the numbers look like. Here on the back it says, some, it has some wise words here. It says, when you laugh, the world fears him. I have no idea what the hell that means. But, hey, once the contents of this box has what I expect, I will be happy. <laughs> anyway, below here you have the Shenzhen GBD technology. Uh, company limited, all rights reserved. And nothing on the bottom. So it looks like a cool little box. Again, I love packages and when I see nice things like this, I would always recommend if you're going to get yourself one of these, keep the packaging. Uh, because if you have to resell it, uh, the packaging adds a ton of value. Especially if it has a, a, a laughing kid on the front. <laughs> now, how the hell do I open this thing? Okay, I'm guessing it's like a book. Oh, there you go. Right. See, so just open it like this, and voila! Okay, so I got scared for a second because I ordered a red one, so I thought that was the real thing. It's blue. Anyway, no worries. It's just a picture. It's a picture of a blue GPDXD, and my Chinese is not as good as it used to be, so I have no idea what that means. All I see is the words XD, so. I guess it's talking about that control, that game system there. Now we have this uh, rubber cover here, rubberized cover, more protection. And here we go. All right, so here we have another USB cable to add to my gazillion cables that I have. It's a mini USB on one end, and it's a USB on the other. It looks like a USB 2.0. All right, so I'll just add that to my pile of cables over here. My growing collection. Here's our trusty power supply, and thank goodness it's North American standard. I have ordered stuff in the past, and it, like the the standard wasn't North American. It was like you know UK British, or it was like you know North African. But this is. North American, which is good, and I'm guessing I plug my USB cable in here, like that, and I would charge this up. Okay, so power supply, good. 
Some of the, some some game systems don't even come up power supplies. They, they expect you to just you know use the cable and charge your device off of your laptop. But I don't always lug around with a bloody laptop, right? So it's good to have your own power supply. Again, you can add it to your gazillion other power supplies. Uh, but yes, now the, here is the main event. But wait, wait, wait! No, you just wait there for a second. There, there's something else here. Um, is it paperware? What is this? This looks like a screen protector, and I honestly am not going to be using this because I love to, if the screen is gorgeous, and the reviews I've read on this, the screen is supposed to be really, really great. I, you know, you, you, if you want to, you can use a screen protector for your device, but it's a clamshell model, so when I'm not using it, the screen is protected anyway, and when I'm playing games, I want my naked eyeballs to see the rich, glorious colors and animated sprites of video gameplay on my GPDXD. So anyway, but it's good that they did give you the option of, you know, a screen protector for added protection. All right, so thank you very much, GPD. You're a good people. Good people. Good team. Good company. And here we have some paperware. And obviously, I'm not going to be really relying on this because, again, there was a mixture of Chinese and English on there. Um, and it just gives you a highlight of, you know, all the specs, packaging list, what you should get, and the specs. So I'm just looking at this and reading it backwards so you can actually see it. Because I've oriented the, the, the paper so you can see it better through the camera. But just looking at it, it says it weighs about 300 grams. And um, it has a standby power mode of just under 0 0.5 watts. So that's good. That pretty much means that you don't have to turn this thing on and off all the time. You can just, you know, if you're not using it, it will automatically go into standby mode. And the huge 6,000 milliampere era battery that it comes with, um, when it goes into standby mode, it can, you know, run for a very, very, very long time before running out of power. So that's good. Um, so here it has a power supply. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It plays audio and video. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack. Yeah, that's all nice and good. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing, this is just the initial unboxing and my initial review. Uh, of course, knowing me, and if you've looked at some of my other videos, you'd see that I do do an in-depth review of products and services and, and all that kind of jazz. Now, drum roll, please. Now, most of you would know that my favorite color is red, so I wanted the red. GPDXD and wow it is a gorgeous piece of kit I love the red and I love the glossiness and just for this video I did not bother to like dry my hands because my hands get especially in the summer and it's in the middle of summer right now I usually sweat a lot and I don't see any smudges I'm trying to smudge this thing and as you can see I just took it out the box right and no, no smudges none at all so anyway, and the build quality, I haven't opened it yet um, because I know a lot of people have been asking me, you know, when you get products uh, from out, you know, out in China, is, is, is the quality good? And, you know, I've done a lot of reviews on this before I bought it. Again, it took me 30 days to get it and it took me months of reviews. So, yeah, this ha just, just my initial review, taking it out the box, the build quality is that of what you would find on the Nintendo 3DS XL. Um, very good um, paint work. Um, you know, the bottom here you have the 64 gigabyte uh, gigabit gigabyte sign, so you know that you know this is a 64 um, gigabyte unit, and uh, it has these four little rubber feet. Well, I have three. One is missing. Not a big deal. Again, I'm not surprised. I mean, hey, it's not like a Nintendo or anything like that, but I'm missing one little rubber foot here. I may I mean, look in the box right later. If not, I can easily go to a hardware store, and, and which I will do, and I can actually get one for that or make my own. The back here you have shoulder buttons. Now there's two on each side. Now initial review, initial um, observation. Listen closely. Closely. You can actually hear these switches toggle, right? They click. Now most of the time I'm going to be playing this with a, a, a set of headphones on, but if I'm in bed next to my wife while she's reading her, her novel and I'm playing this, she may get a little tired of me pressing these buttons. So those of you who don't sleep alone and you like playing your games at night, 
you may need to go outside in the, in the living room and play this if you're going to be using shoulder buttons that click, click as loud as this. But what I like about the clicking is I'm a fan of mechanical keyboards. I like to know when, I'm, when I've pressed a button. So there is an upside to it, right? You hear the clicking sound, which is a downside to some people who don't like the noise of a click. But if you like to know you've pressed a button, especially in those fighting games and in those shooting games, uh, this is pretty good. And on the side here, I'm not sure if you can really tell, but the inner shoulder buttons are a little bit higher, um, higher away from the plane than the, the ones on the outsides, which is really good. So you can actually feel um, you know, which, which buttons are which um, when you're playing. Because obviously when you're playing, you're looking at the screen, you're not looking at the buttons. Quick observations here on the back. So we have our 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, here we have an HDMI, uh, lovely, an HDMI uh, out port. So you can obviously hook this into a large 70 inch screen TV like I have downstairs. Yes, 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 so I do. Uh, here we have a USB or a mini USB port for charging. And here is a slot. Thank goodness for that for external storage. So I have, uh, I believe you can put in a, a micro SD card of up to 128 gigabytes. And do I have one? Yes, I do, because I have nothing better to do than go and shop for expensive memory for things like this. And again, we have our shoulder buttons. Now before I open it, of course I have a Nintendo 3DS XL. So side by side, they pretty much look roughly the same in size. The 3DS XL of course has a better finish. It's more of a matte finish and of course it doesn't smudge as well. Um, and with matte finishes they look more expensive so obviously you know but some people like the glossy look so you know what it depends on your taste. Um, I'm happy with both of them because they're both red. There you go thumbs up. So on the back you can see now the uh, the GPDXT doesn't have doesn't play cartridges obviously right you actually you know have all your games on memory um, um, so you, you know you download you know, you have your, your 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 ROM collection from your purchased games that you can actually because you can when you purchase 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 your games um, there is technology where you can convert those purchased games into a downloadable a ROM which you can then put onto to, to your your device and of course you you can actually access the um, Android store. And play Android games on this, so you don't need a cartridge. Of course, the 3DS um, comes with, you know, slot for cartridges. So you see that on the back. So I had Ridge Racer in my 3DS XL. Anyway, so on the back here again, just looking in, in, uh, in more detail. So with the 3DS XL, you have, um, I think that's an IR port. You don't have that on the uh, GPDXD. You have shoulder buttons on the 3DS XL. Now this is not the the latest 3DS XL. And I believe the latest one does have double shoulder buttons. This one only has a single shoulder button on each side. The GPDXD has two. Um, and anyway, just wanted to give you a rough idea of the back. I mean, again, this is just my initial, um, you know, review of this. Uh, and of course, I will do a video where I compare the two of these in a bit more detail. But I just wanted to show you uh, from a, you know, aesthetics perspective and size they're pretty much roughly the same size even roughly the same thickness as well uh, I think the GPDXD is like a fraction of an inch thicker um, but and then as far as length they're pretty much the same length um, and of course you've seen the look all right so now let's open her up A little creaky there I guess uh, with now what I like about this of course with time I can put a little a little oil there just so it doesn't creak I love this look and feel look at these keys man look at the quality of the work I, I have not even touched the analog nubs yet I know they're gonna feel lovely and superb on my thumbs but for uh, you know a company like GPD and I'm not it's not a, a company that a lot of people know like Nintendo or Sony They've done a very good job just on the look of this device. Look at it. I mean, I'm going to be spending tons and tons of time with this on the train, at work, um, because don't forget this is a touchscreen. This is actually you know, an Android device that plays Android games and you can run Android applications on it. And this is a touchscreen as well. I cannot wait to turn it on and really now delve into the gaming on this thing. So look forward to some other videos because I'm going to be doing a full review of this and uh, comparing it, of course, to my friend here from Nintendo, 
the 3DS XL. So of course, obviously with the 3DS XL, you have two screens and you have the 3D screen here. This is just a single screen. There's no 3D on this. It's just supposed to be a gorgeous screen for gorgeous gaming with all the controls you can ever need. Um, you have all the controls of a conventional gamepad, like so the gamepad like on the Xbox One, on the Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, you have all those same controls on the GPD XD. And sorry Nintendo 3DS XL, we have two big analog knobs on our GPD XD. I know on the newest version of this, they have like a little rubber analog nubby thing here to, to give you the, those two nubs, but I like two identical nubs on either end of my device. Anyway, so we will do a bit more of a, a deep dive between the two of these later. The focus today is on our friend here, the GPDXD. Now, I'm pressing the D-pad here, and it's nice and spongy. It reacts well to my fingers, and I can tell by just pressing it, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be mashing these buttons for days and days in and days out, to the point where it may even you know it can even, may even affect my marriage, because I'm I'm gonna be playing this thing nonstop. I'm telling you. Uh, start and select buttons feel very nice on the fingers. Uh, we have this is back button here and a home button, uh, same buttons that you would find on your on your on a smartphone. Then we have our action buttons X, Y, A, and B, nicely color coded. I love colors, and it pressed nice on my fingers. And we have L3 and R3 buttons. So you have on the back. Remember on the back here, I showed you these. They have two shoulder buttons on each side. Well, you have a third, but what it did, they put the third button on front here. We have all this real estate, so they just gave us tons of buttons. A ton of buttons, all right? Um, speaking of tons of buttons, this little button here has an icon of a gamepad on it. This is actually a keypad mapper, a keypad mapper button. So whatever game you have, you know the problem you have with Android games? They're gorgeous games. These things look, just look great. But what kind of sucks is that there's no buttons to use. You have to use the virtual buttons on the screen, and you mat, you know, you, you smudge the screen, and sometimes you have to keep looking at the screen to see, well, what button do I bloody well press? You know, it's kind of not the real gaming experience of like, you know, mashing real physical buttons and not having to worry about where is the button. So with this, whatever Android game you have up there, and again, I will do a video where we'll, we'll demonstrate how you do your key mapping. Um, you know, whatever virtual keys you have on the screen, when you press this, a bunch of like virtual buttons will come up on the screen, and you can pretty much, and there, all those buttons that you see are actually virtual versions of the real buttons, right? So the shoulder buttons, the D-pad, and action buttons, and you can just pretty much drag them all over the place and then put them, so whatever, so for example, if you have a big punch button here for like if you're playing a punching game, and you press the key mapper key and you want the X button to be the punch button, there will be like a virtual X button on the screen. You just drag it over the, the punch button on the screen and then your X button will be mapped to that button, all right? Anyway, again, I will show you all this in subsequent videos. So that's the key mapper key. And we have another key here. I'm not sure what that is. So I'll find out shortly. That's our power button. And then we have our volume up and down keys. We looked at our L3 and R3 keys. Our analog knobs, oh, oh, these are gorgeous. They don't feel clunky. They don't, and I, you know, I can, I can feel the different um, indentations as toward, you know, when it comes to the direction I'm, I'm actually aiming or whatever. But, and it, they're very, they feel expensive. It actually feels like the PS Vita's uh, uh, analog knobs. This is good, and you let them go to go back in place. And what I like about these, these have a rubber texture to them. I have played some other. Um, Chinese consoles where the analog knobs are nice, but they're solid plastic. And after a while, you, you, you lose that traction between your thumb and the analog knobs. And also what happens when you play you know, on, with, with hard plastic knobs, after a while your thumbs actually hurt. But these are nicely rubberized. I think these guys did a lot of research, looked at what's out there in the market and got feedback from hardcore gamers like yourselves and me. And we said, we wanted analog knobs with rubber, rubber tops. And we need something that feels expensive and really works. And they gave us this. So yeah, of course we have our start and select and our speakers are right here, which is great because when you hold the device in your hand, I saw it like, you know, when I hold it like this, I can play and I, my button, my, thumb, my hands don't cover the speakers. And again, I wouldn't really have to worry about that because I will be using earbuds most of the time. It feels 
it feels expensive. It feels like there's something in there. And of course, in addition to the electronics, there is a huge 6,000 milliamp hour battery in this thing. So, you know, when you're playing like low powered emulator games um, and even regular Android games, you can imagine the number of hours you can play on this without having to charge it. So for those of you who take like, you know, two hour train rides back and forth, you know, who just, you know, you, don't, you, have, you have no life because you're on the train all the time, get one of these and you can pass the time away. Again, it has Android on it, so in addition to gaming, you can, you know, play or watch your movies and do what you would normally do on an Android tablet. What I love about this as well, one other quick thing I've noticed is that you can actually set whatever angle you want the screen to be, right? So if you want all the way down, it goes all the way down to a flat 180 degree um, angle. You can have it go up to 45 degrees in between. It doesn't matter. Up to 90 degrees. I don't know why you want to watch anything, something like that at 90 degrees, but it can. So that's really good as well. And of course, you have our GPD logo right there. And I cannot wait to turn this on because I'm under I understand from the reviews that this screen is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. And for me, I give this five out of five stars just from looking at it. One, I love the look and feel. It does feel expensive, um, you know, for a $200 device. This is, it's definitely worth its weight in gold. Analog numbs are lovely. I love the, the keys, the, the, the size as well of the, um, the D-pad and the, the keys are very much uh, synonymous with what you find on the uh, Nintendo 3DS. They're roughly the same size. Look at those, look at those uh, D-pads. And look at the size of the buttons. They're pretty much identical in size. Um, and again, you know, the key mapper functionality is what makes this really, really stand out a lot from a lot of the other game pads, game consoles out there because you can play pretty much any Android game on this thing when you map the keys. Um, and yeah, oh, one other thing. So there's some rubber, little rubber feet here. So obviously when you close this, the screen doesn't touch the keys so you don't get um, key marks on your screen. I love this. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my initial unboxing and review of the GPDXD game console. This is Android based so it can play virtually any Android game. Um, I understand that there's enough horsepower in here that it can run the best and most graphic intensive Android game with no problems and it can run a ton of emulators. It can well, PS1, even PSP. So the PPSS SPP emulator that has had issues on other devices. I understand it works pretty well on this. I'm going to test it out and confirm that. I'm going to put a ton of movies on this um, and run some emulator games. I'm going to spend a, quite a while with this thing. Um, the only thing that it didn't come with, um, and I don't think that's a big issue, it didn't come in a nice cover because I want a, a nice case to put this in. Um, so I can get that from, you know, yeah, I can use the case that I, I use for my 3DS XL. Um, I will still be using this, of course, because I am a love of Nintendo, don't get me wrong. But here we have it, guys, the initial review. And uh, with that being said, you guys have a great day. I have a lot to do, and I'm sure you guys do too. And stay tuned for more videos. Richie signing off. Hey, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have, you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're gonna be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, 
of course you will be you know at the forefront of any new things that are happening any new videos that are coming out um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway right so you want to be you know subscribed tuned in to that as well so it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well so yeah that being said you guys have a great day